Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with probability theory, and uh, more importantly uh, using contingency tables to explore particular uh, probability rules, uh, is going to concentrate on the multiplication rule. Okay. Uh, but let's just say, for argument's sake, that uh, in for, let's to, to try to motivate this, let's let's just choose a contingency table. Let's say the table looks something like this. Okay. Uh, two variables, uh, two levels of measurement on each variable, and let's say the first one is the type of service, the type of service provider with respect to a mobile phone. I'm just going to say Vodafone. And let's say there's another one which is Tree. Okay, so depending on what part of the world you're in in Ireland, uh, you could go with Vodafone or Tree or Air. They're service providers in respect to mobile phones. And the type of plan you could either be on a bill pay or as pay as you go, a pay as you go plan. So let's say we asked. Let's say for argument's sake that we asked 100 people the question, and the question was, uh, what service provider are you with, and what type of plan are you on, are you on a bill pay or pay as you go? And let's say for argument's sake the numbers are 10, 30, 25, and 35, giving us marginal totals of 40, uh, 60, uh, we have 35 here, and we have... Uh, we have 65 here, okay, uh, give, which gives us, when we look at the marginal totals, 35 and 65 gives us 100, and 40 and 60 gives us 100, okay. And what we want to have a look at, we want, we want to have a look at the multiplication rule, okay. The multiplication rule is that the probability of A and B is the product of the individual probabilities, probability of A times the probability of B, when the two events are independent of each other, independent, okay. Uh, and the other possibility is that probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B knowing that A has happened when they're dependent on each other dependent okay? now in this situation we have uh, let's just have a look at all the individual probabilities let's have a look at the let's say the marginal probabilities the marginal probabilities okay let's have a look at them so we could calculate the probability that you're a Vodafone customer Okay. Actually, I'm going to say, let's say that's V, let's say this is T, let's say this is B, and let's say this is G, just as acronyms for the actual types. So to, to cut down on all the writing. So the probability of, if you randomly select a single person, the probability that you get a Vodafone customer is, well, it's a marg It's a simple probability. Marginal probabilities are calculated using the marginal totals. Well, there's 40 Vodafone customers out of 100. So we have 40 chances out of 100 here. And we could reduce that down. Uh, what's the probability that I get a tree customer? Well, there's 60 chances out of 100. Okay, we could reduce that down. And what's the probability that you get a bill pay customer? Well, there are 25 chances out of 100. Okay, I'm doing this quite fast because one of the previous videos with contingency table deals with marginal probabilities. Uh, what's the probability that you have a go customer? So in this case, a go customer, there's 65 chances, 65 at a matter of 100. So we have 65 out of 100 okay now let's have a look at the conditional probabilities the conditional the conditional probabilities the conditional probabilities okay because I really want to know whether I'm dealing with independent or dependent events and actually the rule says that if the two events if the two events are independent if, the, if they're independent well then the probability of x given y okay is actually simply equal to the probability of x okay that's when they're independent of each other so i want to test to see whether whether these are independent or not okay so i'm going to have a look at the conditional probabilities so let's say in this case here i want to calculate the probability that it's a vodafone customer knowing that it's a bill pay customer okay well we know they're a bill pay customer so they're in they're in here somewhere and i want to know what's the chance of selecting vodafone so i have 10 chances out of 35 so it's 10 out of 35 here What's the probability that it's a Vodafone customer given that they're pay-as-you-go? Well, the pay-as-you-go people are here. There's 65 of them. Vodafone is 30 out of 65, so that's the probability of that. Uh, let's see if we're given some other information. Let's see, what's the probability that they're a bill pay customer given that they're a Vodafone customer? So we're doing it the other way around. So they're, we're given that it's a Vodafone customer, so it's along here. And the chances of getting a bill pay customer out of here is 10 chances out of 40. So you have 10 out of 40. And finally, what's the probability that they're a bill pay customer given that they're 
they're a three customer okay so there are three customers so they're along here and uh, what's the chances of getting a bill pay person uh, well what's the chances of getting a bill paid person knowing that they're three well it's in this case it's 25 chances out of 60 so we have 25 chances out of 60 okay and we could continue on uh, we could ask the question what's the probability that we get a three customer